what is going on guys welcome back thank you for tuning into the channel once again today so as you can see here we're going to show you how to use your usb loader gx to launch your gamecube games now this is going to work in combination with nintendo so you do require that you have nintendo already installed if you don't i will link a video down in the description below follow along with it and then come back to this video now this is great for us because usb loader gx already has built-in support for nintendo so all we have to do is make sure that a couple settings are ticked so to get right into it let's go into the settings right here go into the loader settings and then of course as i said there's just a few settings we got to make sure so first things first head over to the gamecube settings make sure your gamecube source is set to auto your gamecube mode is set to nintendo scroll a little bit further down if my menu would work okay so under the dml plus nintendo i like to have this set to on of course this is optional all it means is going to apply a progressive patch to those games that don't currently have it supported so it's going to output the game at 480p scroll a bit further down i don't know if this one is set by default but make sure that under the nintendo tab the auto boot is set to on scroll a bit further down if you do want to be able to save your games make sure you have some sort of memory card emulation whether it be individual or multi it's really much left up to your preference so i currently have mine set to individual Scroll a bit further down and make sure their USB HID controller is set to on. This one right here is just going to pertain to the fact that it's going to allow you to connect a USB controller. Whereas me, I connect my PlayStation 4 controller via USB. So of course, I would have to be, have that set to on. Other than that, you can go back. Now you have to be mindful of one thing here. Do you have your Nintendo or your homebrew apps installed on an SD card or on a hard drive? If it's on an SD card, you don't have to worry about that. It's already pretty much set by default. But if you're like me and you have it set on a hard drive or installed on a hard drive, you're going to have to set up a couple of paths. So as you can see here, my 3D cover path all the way down to my disc artwork are set to be in my USB 1 apps, USB loader GX, and then the images, and then the full folder as well as my disk folder you're going to see right here apps usb loader gx images disk make sure you do that also you're going to want to make sure you know exactly where your nintendo is currently installed so of course as i said or mentioned mine is in my hard drive so usb1 apps and then nintendo and for some reason this file right here i also had to forward but again i do have everything being loaded off my hard drive i have all my gamecube games my wii games and my homebrew apps all on that one hard drive i don't use an sd card but if you already have it on an sd card this right here will all be set up by default and you should be ready to go now there's one other thing that i do want to show you you may or may not see your gamecube games up here all you really got to go do is go up into the setting right here click on that and make sure your gamecube games is ticked and your Wii games depending on which one you're using or if you're just using both or either or I believe by default if it doesn't detect any games it's gonna go ahead and select NAND channel so you might see the homebrew channel you might see any emulators that you currently have or any other homebrew apps that you currently have that load up whenever you go into your homebrew channel click OK and you're good to go for me I'm just gonna hit cancel also if you're not familiar with USB loader GX I'm gonna show you right quick on how to download your your box art so you're gonna want to go up here to where it says display as list and then right over here, of course, you're going to have like a big question mark and everything's going to be all white and stuff like that. Just click on that and then it's going to prompt you for the cover download. Select which ones or which criteria that you want to actually download, whether it be custom banners, discards, just the 3D covers, flat covers, full covers, whichever ones you want. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to scrape all of that. It's going to see how many images are actually missing from within your library. And then it's going to prompt you, OK, you have from 2000 files or 3000 files. Would you like to continue down and you hit OK, let it do its thing. And then it's going to apply those to the correct or to the current or corresponding ID of each game. That way, every game will have its current picture and you're good to go from there. You got your box art. You're going to have your games uh, forwarded over to Nintendo. And now you got all your games under one location, which is great. You know, in my opinion, this is a much better experience because it's more customizable. You have your Wii games, your GameCube games under one location. You have box art for your GameCube games as well. And you can even customize the theme of USB Loader GX if you so choose to. I currently do have the defaults. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial. As always, I will see you in the next one.